Down and out of the NBL playoffs last weekend, reigning MVP Kevin Lish has made a miraculous recovery from an ankle injury. His coach, Rob Beveridge, couldn't be happier. No, I don't think you can really put anything on it. Uh, you know, a lot of that will be up to, uh, to, to Kev. And uh, I won't say it's five minutes, 40 minutes. You just don't know. He's a handy in, isn't he? Considering how well you played in game two as well. Yeah, game two was an amazing game for us. And uh, just to have, to have Kev on the sidelines, uh, I think will, uh, will, will definitely be great for us. But for him to be out there, I think will even be better. And can you repeat what you did in game two, uh, this one? Who knows? That, that was one of the best games I've been involved in in regard to how focused they were and how together they were as a team. And we've got one game to go and that's, that's the way we're treating it and uh, we're, we're just going to give nothing but 100% and see what happens. When you have to play again so soon, do you have to come in with different tactics or you just try and replay exactly what you did? I think it's one of those things, uh, you can't rejig too much this time of the season. Uh, we have our style of game, they got their style of game and when we play to, to our ability and uh, the way we want to play. We are one of the best teams in the league and it's exactly the same with the Wildcats. They'll have their game plan. If uh, I think it's the team that makes the least amount of uh, mistakes and can focus in on what they're doing, uh, we'll win the game. And what about that 23-game losing streak in Perth? The Fox Sports Lab tells me it's the longest hoodoo in the NBL. How do you break that? I honestly couldn't care less. I, th I think it just gives people back at Fox Sports uh, something to do to go searching for records, but you know, honestly, I couldn't care less. You know, it was two games, 23, 50, it doesn't bother me at all. This is a uh, one-game series tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go for it.